The last point to regain your confidence is expel negative thoughts. We all have thoughts all the time. 80% of one's thoughts may be negative. You will be depressed. Negative thoughts tell you that you are bad. People don't like you. You must die, etc. Determine the types of thoughts you have. This is science. In psychology, it is called CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. It means changing your thoughts to change your behavior. It is God's way too. He authored it. Fix your mind by not letting it accuse you. When the devil tried to introduce a negative thought to Jesus, he rejected it. The devil couldn't conquer him. He taught us how not to let our minds think negatively. Psalm 3 Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me, There is no help for him in God. These are negative thoughts. But he immediately answered, But you, O Lord, are a shield for me, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. One thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to those things which are ahead, I press toward the goal. When Joseph remembered what his brothers did to him, he reminded himself that God knew what he was doing. Am I God? He knows better. He knew how to answer his mind, so he lived perfectly, powerfully. To gain confidence, one, be full of God's love. Two, be full of someone's love. Three, trust God's promises. Four, focus on your mission. And five, fight your negative thoughts, and glory be to God forever. Amen.